In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this simple animation of a witch holding a magic sphere. Let's start with the broom handle. We'll add some subtle movement to the broom handle by keyframing its rotation and Y position. Add loop out expression to the rotation and offset the rotation keyframes. Copy the broom handle's rotation keyframes and paste them to the broom bristle's rotation. Then offset the broom bristle's rotation keyframes. To make the broom bristles move smoothly, we'll add CC bended effect to the broom bristles layer. Then set its start and end. Copy the rotation keyframes onto the bend. and the broom bristles are now moving smoothly. After animating the broom, we'll continue with the witch's body by keyframing her body scale. To make her face move up and down with the body, we'll keyframe her face's Y position and rotation. Then add the loop in expression. To animate her braid, 
We'll copy the face's rotation keyframes to the braid and offset them. Then add the CC bended effect to the braid, just like how we did to the broom bristles. Before animating the hat, we'll parent the conical crown to the brim. Then, copy the body's scale keyframes to the brim, and offset them. Also copy the face's rotation to the brim. To animate the hair bangs, first, we'll adjust their anchor point. Then, we'll keyframe their rotation. Add the Lupin expression and offset keyframes to randomize their motion. Next, we'll animate the dress by copying the face's rotation keyframes to these two dress layers. Then offset keyframes and add the CC bended effect. To animate the right arm, we'll set its anchor point here, and keyframe its rotation.
For the left arm, we have two layers, upper and lower arm. We'll repeat the process and add rotation keyframes to both layers. But we'll also add the CC bend it to the lower arm to make the movement more smooth. Before animating the magic sphere, we'll duplicate the magic sphere layer. Then, parent sphere 2 to sphere 1. Open sphere 1's contents and delete these groups. They are sparks inside the sphere. Then open sphere 2's contents and delete group 20. Keep the rest and group them all together. Group 20 is the sphere background. Parent sphere 1 to the lower arm. and the sphere is now moving with the left arm. We'll also add some rotation to the sphere. To add some glow to the sphere, we'll use the outer glow style. Change the glow color to your liking. And set the spread to 2%. Keyframe the sphere 2's opacity to make the sparks blink. Let's move the witch slightly to the left. Check the whole animation and add more details if needed. As you can see, the legs are not moving yet, so we'll need to add some movement to the legs too. We'll copy the face's rotation keyframes to these two lower leg layers. Edit the rotation keyframe values to randomize their movement. And we've finished our animation. We also have other Halloween related tutorials that we published last year. We'll leave the links to these tutorials in the description.
The project files of this tutorial are available to download in our After Effects project files library. For more information about access to our library, please check the link in the description section below. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.